smothering is the interaction between the elements in the atmosphere and the rocks exposed at the Earth's surface. Weathering is determined by climate. We have two types of weathering. First is the mechanical weathering, wherein the rock is broken into smaller pieces, retaining its original characteristics. Mechanical weathering has two types, ice wedging or frost wedging and seating or exfoliation. Ice wedging happens when solid ground breaks and that certain space will be filled with water and breeze. The water will become ice and eventually make the ground break into two. Sometimes, the frozen water is replaced by roots of a plant and that is what we call root wedging. The other type is sheeting or exfoliation, which happens when the outer layer of a rock exfoliates due to sometimes change in temperature and expansion of a rock's body. The second type of weathering is chemical weathering, which occurs when the internal structure of the rock is changed due to removal or adding of element. We have three main groups of this type of weathering, hydrolysis, dissolution, and oxidation. Hydrolysis is the chemical union of water and mineral. Dissolution is a process whereby rock materials passes directly into solution like salt in water. And oxidation is the combination of atmospheric oxygen with the mineral to produce an oxide. Our topic for today is about hydrology. Hydrology is the study of distribution and conservation and uses of water. And it comes from the Greek word hydor, it means that water, and logos, it means that study. And this one is the example of hydrology, the creek. The creek is the bodies of water that flows with gravity and larger than a brook but smaller than a river. Branches of hydrology. Chemical hydrology is the study of chemical characteristics of water. Echohydrology is the study of interaction between organism and hydrologic cycle. Hydrogeology is the study of presence and movement of groundwater. Hydroinformatics is the adaptation of information technology to hydrology and water resource application. Hydrometeorology is the study of transfer of water and energy between land and water body surfaces and the lower atmosphere. Isotope hydrology is the study of isotopic signatures of water. Surface hydrology is the study of hydrologic process that operates at or near at the Earth's surface. Have you ever caught your imagination? What causes rainfall? When the water evaporates in the clouds, and those waters hold by clouds, and they will condense. Some will collide with other droplets and become larger, while others will grow as water condenses in the air. When clouds cannot hold the large droplets anymore, sooner enough those large droplets will fall and form a precipitation. The Astro the astro is the movement of the Earth. We casual observer, the, the, the crust of the Earth is permanent and fixed, but the great deal of evidence, both direct and indirect, shows that the Earth is in constant motion. The astro generally tends to elevate the Earth's surface. deposited in ancient marine seas. We find them at various elevations about the sea level, signifying the geographic patterns of the land and sea are different today. There are different types of earth movements. Those are uplift, subsidence, and crust. When we say uplift, the movement of the earth were in crust right while subsidence is a sinking or setting up a part of the Earth's crust with, re with respect to the surrounding parts. And lastly, the crust. It is the nor horiz horizontal movement of the Earth's crust. Theories of the Astrophysics First is the theory of isostasy, wherein when a rock from a higher region is removed by erosion. The higher region slowly rises while the lower region becomes heavier and slowly sinks. Second, the theory of contraction states 
that the earth is gradually sinking. Third is the theory of convection. States heated portion rises to the surface, cooler portion sinks to the ocean floor. Fourth, the continental drift theory. From a single large continent, it broke up and various sections drifted apart because of the folding and faulting. Fifth, the expansion theory states that the earth is gradually expanding. Expansion of the earth would change the continent's position. Structural features of the earth fold a bend or flexuring a rock. It is likened to the waves of the ocean, wherein the upper part is called the anticline and the lower part or the trough is called the decline. Falling. It refers to the surface along which a rock body has been broken and has been displaced. Two types of faulting. The vertical faulting. Of course, when entire block of rock is raised evenly. The horizontal faulting. Of course, when an entire block of rock is lowered evenly so that the layers remain in their original vertical position. Just a small town girl, living in a lonely